She might find the eye. She might. Plan it too. <laughs> I thought we would play career hard mode today. <laughs> you are first, Charlie. <laughs> Okay, you convinced me I want to play Planet Zoo. <laughs> I thought I would test myself and play hard mode Korea. I'm hoping because it's going to be like the first scenario, um, it's going to be a little bit easier for this one. <laughs> But I haven't played this scenario in over four years. I checked. I think it was... Oh, you just go back into Planet Zoo. Um, I thought it might be fun. I like the Koreas. They're like my favourite. Even though I am a builder, I love building. Koreas are my favourite. So I'm hoping, even though it's been four years, that I can do this career scenario. So let me just pop myself down here. And we'll have a look. So, the first one is Goodwin House. Which I'm excited for because I love Bernie Goodwin. So, uh, renovated and renamed after its purchase by Bernard Goodwin in the 1980s, Goodwin House has since become one of the most respected zoos in the country. More recently, it has undergone a further renovation to update many of the habitats and facilities. But due to various issues, <laughs> Uh oh, the work hasn't quite been completed. I don't know why I glitched there, which is where you come in. Ah, do you, do you like building as well, Charlie, or are you more of a like player then? You don't really necessarily have to be that creative. Um, I seem more creative because I can't build like the pretty natural habitats <laughs> okay so should we should we get started um obviously i haven't tested any of like the volumes and anything so if you want me to adjust it after we start let me know uh so obviously we're gonna start new i have completed all of them well you can see 60 out of 60 they're all done <laughs> But I haven't done it on hard difficulty yet, so let's start on hard difficulty. So hard difficulty. Animal welfare is harder to maintain. Ah! <laughs> Animals get stressed. Great. Animals will not survive as long. <laughs> Animals get bored. Uh-oh. Guests learn less from education. Guest happiness drops at a faster rate. Guests re re request refunds. Oh no! <sighs> Willing to spend less cash. Five star guest happiness rating requires an average of 90%. Wow, and t get staff get tired faster. This is gonna be tricky. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm kind of nervous now. <laughs> oh, this is the bit you don't get to see often, is the loading screens. <laughs> How's everyone's week been? Do you have a good week since last week? Shows I haven't been on in a while. It's just taken a little while to load. <laughs> I always find it funny that there's like little tips by here. Oh! Ah! Heyo, add Hema to! Yeah! Oh. 
Oh, 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 sorry about that. I, I, I have a habit of slipping back into the Franco language. <laughs> it's good to finally meet you in person. I'm Bernard, although I insist you call me Bernie. The only person who calls me Bernard is my wife. <laughs> and even then, only when I've tracked elephant dung into the carpets. <laughs> oh, Bernie. As you know, I own several zoos, but I always like to show people the ropes here at my home. This is the first zoo I ever opened, and a source of great pride for me. And prides, thanks to a lion breeding program we ran in the 80s. <laughs> But we're in the middle of a big renovation, and that's where you come in. Sadly, our old contractor had to retire after developing a fur allergy. Uh, poor devil kept sneezing his dentures into the lion habitat. So, it's up to you to finish everything off. Don't worry, though. I'm not completely throwing you into the deep end. My head keeper, Nancy Jones, will be lending a helping hand. Oh, she's a hard worker. And she'll expect you to be, too. But I'm sure you'll get along like a house on fire, or even better, <laughs> one that isn't on fire. <laughs> Less shouting that way. <laughs> Hello there. From that rosy, fresh face of yours, I'm guessing you're Bernie's new hire. <laughs> Good. Now, I hope you're ready to ditch your diploma, because we're about to get really hands-on. But before we begin the real work, how about we familiarize you with the zoo by learning how to fly around it and visiting <laughs> some of our beautiful animals? We'll start by popping over and having a look-see at the grizzly bears in their habitat. Oh, I love Nancy. Okay, um, so it's a bit quiet. Uh, I'll just hire it up now. I thought it was okay, but maybe it is significantly quieter than me, so I'll just pop up. the voice volume hopefully that will boost it a little bit okay so i have to explore the zoo which is just really funny like i know. You know that grizzly bears also known as ursus arctos horribilis can hibernate for up to seven months a year <laughs> oh, but then again given the chance i think a lot of people would do that too <laughs> Yep. Select Absolutely. And you'll bring up its information panel. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Here we are. This is where you can <laughs> find out all kinds of information about your animal. The most important thing being its overall welfare. You'll learn more about animal welfare today as we go through your objectives. But for now, let's enjoy this magnificent animal. Why don't you select the camera at the bottom of its information panel? Oh, the tutorial's so cute. Is it a bit... Is it loud enough now? Or do I need to go up even more? Because I got the voice volume at 100. I could... Boost it a little bit more. I don't want it to be deafening. Charlie, you can't do plants? Me neither. <laughs> Uh, I usually go in like rolls of three and I'll just put three chunks of three different plants in a little chunk. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the bear first. This is so cute. Okay. Oh, hi. So this is a fantastic way to get a close look at your animals. You can also get this view of an animal by simply double clicking on it. I okay, never double click. Ready? Let's pop over to the other side of the zoo and take a look at the lions. I've marked their location for you to find. I never double click. Huh. Sounds good to you. Oh, great. Thank you. I'm trying to make it like loud enough, but not louder than me. Because <laughs> obviously <laughs> you need to be able to hear me. Um, lions. Great. I, I'm not running around. Name. Oh, species. I'll do. Let's go find them. Ta-da. <laughs> I'm not running around looking. Panthera Leo Leo, or the West African lion to you and me. Lions are the most social of the big cats, and there can be as many as 40 lions in a pride. Although prides of that size are pretty rare. As Bernie would say, those lions are awesome, <laughs> which is precisely why I handle the training instead these days. Anyway, how about we get started on those objectives? 
Come on, let's head over to an empty habitat and see what needs doing there. Ah, uh, I love Nancy so much. Oh, right. So we didn't actually get to see the lions. But obviously, this is not brand new. Let's go see Madu having a nap. So cute. <laughs> okay, gotta find an empty habitat, have I? My, I hear a Welsh accent and my Welsh accent notches up to a 10. <laughs> is it highlighted? Or do I have to... Ah, it is highlighted. Okay. Hi, I found it. As you see, it's a lovely space for animals, but it's missing a certain something. Well, Food? two somethings. Warthogs. <laughs> so I'd like you to adopt a pair of them. <laughs> to adopt animals, we need to open the animal market, which is in the animal trading section. There we are, a pair of perfectly splendid warthogs for our oh, zoo. Oh, gold Just and everything. Them and select adopt from the side menu. And this Normally, is so the animal funny. exchange would be full of animals, but I've emptied out the market while you learn how it works. The last thing okay. I heard is you accidentally ordering a dozen <laughs> elephants. When you adopt an animal, it's automatically placed in the trade center where they're held until you're ready to move them into their habitat, which, as it happens, you are. So yep. how about you move them into their new home? I don't want to rush her, but like... When you ask for an animal to be moved into a habitat, your caretakers will go to the trade center, collect your animal, and deliver them to your selected habitat. I've marked the trade center's location, so let's go and watch the caretakers in action. Caretakers do it. I usually make my keepers do it. Well, as you can we see, those caretakers don't hang about. They'll move no? those animals to their destination as fast as possible. Of course, normally we'd have to place the animals into quarantine before moving them into a habitat. But I'd I never do that. But I'm by a person of good standing that these warthogs are in the very rudest of health. <laughs> right, let's get the warthogs' habitat finished up so we can keep them nice and happy. You see, each animal in the zoo has an overall welfare statistic, basically how happy they are. And that overall welfare statistic is itself comprised of four different areas. Nutrition, social health, habitat and enrichment. Okay. Luckily, if you select an animal, you'll bring up the animal welfare information panel, which we saw mm -hmm. earlier, where you can see how they're doing. That way, Not you'll great. know exactly what areas need to be addressed. Don't worry if that's a lot to remember. You can always check the Zoopedia for more information. See? Yeah, all we'll right. start by oh. making sure we're taking care of the warthog's <laughs> nutrition welfare. To do this, we'll need to place a food station and a drinking station. Now, each animal requires a different type of feeding station. And for the warthogs, it's a small feeding trough. So let's add one small of those one. and a water bowl. Where's the tap water? Oh. They're really limiting us here. Okay, let's put the food by the thing. Here you go. Animals also require stimulation to keep them happy. Let's add a lovely mud bath for the warthogs to roll around in. I love that the rolling of the hours. Their enrichment welfare, specifically their toy enrichment welfare. Okay. Then go over there. Oh, nice yeah, I done work. it. You've got a knack for Thanks. this, I see. Now. Our contractor had to leave in a hurry, so this place is in a feral state. Unfinished mm -hmm. thingamajigs and what's-its all over the shop. But the first thing we need to finish is the ostrich habitat. It's all right. near the hippos. I won't be doing that. Right. Charlie, she emptied out the animal trade-in, as in there are no other animals available in the animal trade-in. It's completely empty. So you don't go and have too much fun. You have to follow the tutorial. The animal trading market tends to open up after you've completed the career scenarios anyway, but it's always limited. Um, ostrich, right? <laughs> Locate the highlighted area. Done. Oh, before we actually start building our ostrich habitat, there's let's no any pause the game. no barriers. Just click the pause button in the bottom right corner. <laughs> ah, that's more like it. A quick break. Sometimes it's a good idea to pause oh. the game whilst you're doing something which requires your concentration because it'll stop the zoo spinning out of control while you're looking the other way. Let's keep the game paused while we get this ostrich okay. habitat built. 
Yeah, okay. no problem. Job number one here is to add a habitat gate before we complete the barrier. Oh, this is Every cute. Habitat, needs a <laughs> habitat gate. After all, how else would the keepers get in and out? <laughs> Just make sure it's hooked up to the path so the keepers can reach it. Oh, this is this is adorable. <laughs> I can't help it. It's like, yes, yes, I know. Right. <laughs> Let's complete the perimeter barrier so we can adopt us some ostriches. Ostriches do not need you, red brick. So I'd like you to finish off the perimeter using the brick barrier. Okay. Oh, my uh, thing's on too long. Let's lower that down a bit. <laughs> I think I was building something slightly larger before. Oh, that does not look good. Absolutely not. Let's move that over. No! Right. I don't... I've got to at least improve this a little bit from what I did before. I don't like the red brick. And it's really expensive. Like, ostrich do not need this expensive of a barrier. Work. Oh, thanks. Remember, Dioch. before you can place animals in any habitat, it has to have a full loop of connected barrier. Now, you've probably noticed that guests can't actually see into this habitat at the moment. Yep. At least not without a stepladder. <laughs> but seeing as they're banned, I'd like you to select a piece of barrier and swap out the brick for a glass barrier so the guests can see in. Or I could just window it, but uh, sure. Where's a good viewing area? I can't even tell where the guests would be coming. It's probably this way. Highlight a section. Yeah, I know. There we go. Really? Adding more windows gives guests even oh, more opportunities. You're only going to give me one. Animals in a habitat. <laughs> it's always best to make sure the guests can get a good view into a habitat from the path they're walking on, because it makes them happy. And well, yeah. This would be a pretty terrible zoo if they couldn't. The Fair enough. The last thing we need to do is to add a donation box. You see, when guests enjoy the view of an animal, they'll make a donation. Just make sure you put them in easy-to-reach places, like near a viewing point. Donation boxes are one of the main sources of income for the zoo, so make sure you remember them. Oh, I am pretty now, terrible at that. Oh. Our ostriches, you should click the play button. After all, if the game's paused, then so are our caretakers, which will make it a bit tricky for them to deliver the <laughs> ostriches, eh? Okay, I, I will then pause the, the way, game. Oh. As well as pausing the game, you can <laughs> speed the game up by clicking on the fast forward button. It will yep. run everything at two times and five times faster. It can be useful, especially if you're waiting for money to accumulate or for animals to be delivered to your habitat. Personally, I use it when I'm waiting for a brew to finish. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you've finished the habitat, so it's high time we adopted those ostriches, don't you think? Okay. Let's get four of them in here. I'm so not used to them talking. Yeah, the tutorial's really trying with this. Um, I'm not used to them talking so often. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I got it. But I'm pretty sure I needed Nancy's help when I first played this. Okay. I'm guessing I need all four. Yeah. They really don't give you <laughs> much leeway. Your, your otters... Oh, you like the wood barriers? I like null barriers. <laughs> but apparently the new update has fixed the null barriers and now path railings don't stop the animals. <sighs> that was like my favourite trick. Um, I don't like the barriers at all. I usually use null and make my own with the railings. There we go. To be collected by the kit uh -huh. and brought to the habitat, you should get it ready for them. Add a right. suitable feeding station, water station, and an appropriate food enrichment item. It's often best to place things like enrichments and feeding stations near to the habitat perimeter so guests can get a really good view of the animals. Great. Are you going to let me change the barriers or just have one little wind over there? That's the question. Can I change them? No. Oh. <laughs> Fine! Oh, they're coming in. Right, food. Feeder. Oh, the water trough. I always use the tap. This is odd. Here we go. What happened there? Oh! Yay! Oh, good to see the ostriches have somewhere they can really stretch their legs. 
Did you know they can actually run at 43 miles per hour? Whoa, heaven forbid they ever escape. <laughs> the speed camera finds alone would bankrupt us. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, Bernie certainly seems impressed. Did he do his speed camera joke? Yeah. Every time we get an ostrich. <laughs> so, now we've made the ostriches' lives a bit better, let's mm -hmm. do the same for the keepers, shall we? What? To make it easier for the keepers to feed the ostriches and hippos, we should build a oh. new keeper hut. Right, okay. The keeper huts are where the keepers prepare the food for animals, so they should be placed near to the habitats to make sure the keepers don't waste their time walking when they should be looking after the animals. We got a good spot for it though? Oh, it, you want it in a specific spot. You ventured into null barriers? Yeah, it's like... I don't know, I'm fussy with the barriers. I'm not a fan. I don't really like this one either. I can't remember what this one's called. But this wooden one, it's just too busy. <laughs> I'm so fussy with these things. I'd rather just use the thing. But obviously, they're not giving us any creative liberties with this. How much money do I have? Whoa! Okay, so I got a decent amount of money. You You'll can have the fancy one. Take the keeper hut to get it to connect up to the path. Yep. Aww. It won't line up nicely. Look at that. Oh. Angle snap off then. Here you go. Oh. This keeper hut only has space for one keeper, but the larger keeper hut can allow multiple keepers to prepare food at the same time. Oh, but bear in mind that keeper huts and other staff facilities shouldn't be placed near to areas where there are lots of guests. Guests don't like seeing facility buildings and it can affect their happiness. I know. Negatively. <laughs> In case that wasn't clear. He was, Something yeah. Outdoor facilities, shops and a whole host of other objects need is power. And that Great. obviously includes your newly built keeper hut. So let's place a transformer next to it, shall we? Oh, uh, not transformers, Nancy. Now, the reason everything has gone blue is because you're using the power heat map. Thanks. This map allows you to Good see to know. what is and what isn't powered in your zoo. So once you've placed your transformer, you can click in the bottom left to turn the heat map off. Or the click the X. Lovely work. Now the keepers can start using the hut to prepare food, and thanks to where you put it, they won't need to walk very far to deliver it to the ostriches and hippos. <laughs> Let's get on to your next objective then. Bengal tigers. We want oh, to lovely. adopt some, but I'm afraid there's nothing ready for them yet. Head on over to the plot of land I've marked out. It's not too far away. Great. Nancy's a bit quiet. Um... What is going on? Uh, Nancy is quieter than Bernie. I don't want to deafen anyone. But we'll max it out. <laughs> Why not? Right, i got to find the highlighted area. Or I can just press the... Great. Right, That's where they're going to be. The next job is to build a habitat from scratch. <laughs> And concrete and glass, I expect. So, go ahead and build it. Just make sure that the habitat includes that big hole we've dug. Oh, and don't forget to add a habitat gate to the barrier. Mm-hmm. Oh, and make sure the guests will be able to see the tigers. Of course they're going to be... Mm. Right. Add a habitat gate, complete the habitat boundary, connect the habitat to a path. 3.7 meters. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I've never bothered with the height snap. Um, sure. Can I get away with just doing glass? Probably not, right? <laughs> Let's have a look. Bengal tiger. Grade 3 climb proof. That's better, ma'am. Great. As long as everyone's happy. Grade 3. Not climbable. I can do it all in glass. That's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing than the concrete. Unless they're going to be like, no, you have to put concrete in. Let me have some creative liberties. Oh, look at the train. <laughs> I thought I could hear it. Oh. 
too long. Too short. <laughs> this is like the not so fun bit that I normally skip past. This is odd. <laughs> but we'll we'll build the barrier, Nancy. No problems. <laughs> I'm loving her accent. I'm pretty sure when I looked up the voice actor for Nancy, they, they were from somewhere near Newport. Hang on. Flat top, no. I thought that looked odd. There we are. I had the settings on wrong. <laughs> it's so nice to be back with this because I was like obviously so confused the first time I played this and I had no idea what I was doing. I'd say go back and have a look, but it's embarrassing. I didn't even have base cam when I first done this. No, they'd be able to climb the rocks. I was having a look then, like, is that even worth it? They haven't even got the glass habitat gate. Where's the staff path? I swear there's a staff path. Cool, sir. Yeah, we'll put it on the staff path at least. And hide it over there. That might be good. Now. Bernie takes safety very seriously at his zoos, so we yeah, should no probably problem. make sure those tigers can't jump out of their habitat, don't you think? <laughs> the way we'll do it is by changing the height of the habitat's barrier. Yep. Okay then, you should start by double-clicking the habitat barrier, which will take you into barrier editing mode. Well, you know, you could just... Great. Now highlight the entire perimeter of the habitat. You can do that by clicking and dragging the barrier selection tool. Nah, I'll do that. Now you've got all of the perimeter selected, you can increase the height of it by clicking and dragging the barrier height tool upwards. You'll want to make sure it reaches a height of at least 3.7 meters. Is that high enough? No? How tall? Do you want this? Now that the habitat wow. is in place, don't forget to put down a donation box near to your All viewing right. areas. We need every dollar we can get. <laughs> Especially if these tigers aren't exactly eating instant noodles for lunch. Oh, you can't. <laughs> okay, that's the habitat boundary complete, the habitat gate in place, and most importantly, the tigers won't be able to jump out of it anymore. I think it's time we adopted those tigers. Trying to think of what Welsh people you've heard. Well, it's it, the first one that always goes to my head is Gavin and Stacey. <laughs> right, Bengal tigers are so pretty. Oh, I love a big cat. Here we go. Pop them in. Whilst our trusty caretakers collect and deliver the tigers, let's take a look at preparing the habitat for their arrival. Yeah, no problem. We'll start with the basics. Add a suitable feeding station for them. They really give this, like, make this super obvious. But I don't mind it. Like, sure, yeah. This time, there we go. Instead of adding a water bowl, let's try something different. The tap! Some animals need a pool in their habitat so they can go oh. for a swim, but they can also use it to drink from. All you have right. to do is make sure the banks of the pool have a gentle slope so they can easily get a nice refreshing drink. There's already a pool excavated, but you still need to fill it with water. You should do that by going into terrain and selecting the water tool. <laughs> no, <laughs> we don't even say what's occurring. This, the first thing that people do with Gavin and Stacey is like, oh, what's occurring? No, no, it's more like, all right, bat. <laughs> yes, that'll there do we go. nicely. Of course, just like the warthogs and ostriches, these tigers will also oh. need some enrichment. Why don't you add some suitable you know, good, toy beautiful and food enrichment pussycat. items into their habitat? Yep. Yeah, you want some toys? Absolutely. Oh, it's so nice to see like base game animals. <laughs> what we got? Pumpkin. Amazing. It's not gonna be any of like the DLC enrichment or anything this is so fun oh we got some guests and a rubbing pad i normally put rubbing pads by trees don't know why just my go-to shoving it by okay, a tree it's really starting to take shape now the tigers will need a shelter in their habitat so they can right. hide from the guests or more likely the bad weather 
Although, given that we're in England, you might want to think of that just as normal weather. <laughs> Go on, add a shelter to their habitat. You can either build one from various suitable bits and bobs, or if you like, just pop down the blueprint that I've already built for you. Not the blueprints. <laughs> Bacardi and cork. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I think it also depends. Right, so they want me to put the, the prefab in. Ew. <laughs> Fine. I guess I can always come back and improve this. Oh. That is not cute. Yeah. Was that all I needed to do? Oh, poor dabs. Yeah. I'm sure it can't have escaped your attention that the tigers look a bit miffed. <laughs> That's because they aren't too keen on the type of terrain in their habitat. Select a tiger and bring up its information panel. Ah. Yeah. Rightio. No problem. Click on the terrain tab. That way you can view the terrain information and see how they feel about the different types of terrain. <laughs> that will tell you what the tigers need more of or less of in this habitat. Okay then, open the terrain editing tool, select painting, yep. and give them some more soil. Yes, that should help with the habitat part of their welfare. Soil. We'll put some soil by the water. Why not? And maybe underneath the trees. Yeah, underneath the plants. Are we good? No. <laughs> Come fly with me. Oh, now that is definitely getting a little bit older. Right then. All oh. animals need plants and trees from their own biome or continent. All right. So, you know, deserts, savannas, or Asia, Europe, that sort of thing. Yep. It looks like these tigers need a few more plants in their habitat. To get a perfect fit, use plants from the rainforest and temperate biomes that are native to Asia. <laughs> Although if you have to, you can get away with using just one or the other. The tigers will also want a certain amount of their habitat to be covered by those plants. To yep. find out which plants to use and how many, select a tiger and go to the environment tab. <laughs> now, as you can see, some of the plants currently in the habitat aren't quite right for the tiger, like the wattle bushes. You can yep. remove them if you want. Hang on. You can find all of the plants you need in the nature section, and you can use the filters to only show the types of plants you okay. want to see. In this case, that's plants from the rainforest or temperate biomes. I haven't actually heard of that one. Charlie. It's actually Bridge. Just older programs. Right, so they don't like most of the plants. So we'll just use a little X to get rid of them. Are they really... Oh! Mm -mm. Okay, Bernie. Good fences make good neighbours. I guess that's doubly true when one of the neighbours is a Bengal tiger. <laughs> Still, those tigers look so that happy balloon? that I doubt they'd leave. Even if you did poke a hole in their fence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, but for heaven's sake, don't test that theory. <laughs> right, I can't head with... Over to the Indian peafowls. I'm not I've done with the tigers. Their social welfare. Now they're just rushing me. No, I'm not done with the tigers. Right, so if you want to remove things, use the X. And then when you want to get the right plants, you can do that. But now... They've locked me out of putting any more plants in. Of course they have. <laughs> yeah, I had to delete everything so they would be happy with it. But now I can't increase the coverage again because they've locked me out of the nature tab. So I'm going to have to go back with that. Because there's nothing in there anymore. <laughs> Great. That looked so nice as well. I done all the dirt patches. Well, that's where I'm going to put more trees later. Look at my tiger. I don't want to go. Did you say Indian peafowl? No. Fine. Now then, just find one of the peafowls and select them to open their information panel. Then we can have a good gander at how they're doing. Although technically, I suppose gandering would just be for geese. Expand their social welfare and we can get a bit more detail. Okay. Uh, I really don't like Indian peafowl. Uh, 
Hang on. What is happening? Adopt and place three Indian peafowls. Right, I'm here. Animal trading. There's nothing. Ah? Uh? uh oh. Play? Do I need to play? Is that what's wrong? Oh no. Uh oh. So the way it filter plants from the end of all animal window wasn't always there. Um, I don't actually know. Social welfare. Oh, plenty of space. I'm ahead of myself. Stressed, but it looks like their social group isn't quite right. So let's find out more. Okay. The social tab at the top of their information panel to see what's wrong. <laughs> it's right. not enough. As you can see, the peafowlers need their population to be larger. To solve this little problem, you'll need to adopt three more female peafowls. Off you pop to the animal market then. Oh, I really thought I, I broke it then and they weren't going to be in there. I got ahead of myself. You put two down and two minutes later there's 40 of them. And all of them are ill. Yes! I hate Indian peafowl for that. They are constantly sick. And they spread disease so quickly. It's the Indian peafowl. The... Oh, penguins are also really bad for it. And the flamingos. I hate putting them in Korea zoos. Right. <sighs> I can't believe that I thought that was empty then. I got ahead of myself. Of course I did. Um, <laughs> that's what I get for playing the tutorial. On those peafowls. I expect they'll be delivered soon. But sadly, it sounds like our snow leopard is a bit grumpy. Oh. Let's head over there and see what's wrong with her. I barely got the peafowls happy. Oh, I'm going to be so fussy with this. I love the maze though. This is cool. It's floating though. I normally don't like having the roots at the bottom showing. Is this a group? <gasps> Can't edit it. Fine. Um, snow leopard. <laughs> of course they're grumpy. There's not enough snow in there. Just like people, animals can suffer from stress if things aren't quite right. You know, like when you see someone put in the milk before the tea bag. In the case of these snow leopards, they're a bit stressed by their lack of privacy. You can lower their stress levels by swapping out the normal glass barrier by their cave for one-way glass. Like this one. a cheap option, but I think they're worth the expense, don't you? Yeah, this they're beautiful. The snow leopards somewhere to Where go are they? They want to get away from the prying eyes of the guests. Yeah. Can't actually see them. You're proper eyes, are you? You in the cave? Where are the snow leopards? Have they miserable? Where are they? Oh, there's only one. Oh, the name. Wow. Not even going to attempt that. Oh, you're in a tree. Hello. Oh. And you're beautiful. You're not even that stressed. Because you're hiding in a tree. <laughs> you are beautiful. Look, you're hiding in a tree. Oh, I think the staff member just said woohoo. Um, one way glass. Can I just... No. Swap the glass barrier section with one-way glass. So, all of this front bit. Oh no! Okay. Hang on. This bit! Of course, when an animal isn't in its natural biome, it's probably going to be too hot or too cold. Unsurprisingly for the snow leopards, no. it's, it's too hot. Even with the terrible British weather, you should help cool it down by adding some coolers to their habitat. Okay. But let's start by opening up the temperature heat map and having a look-see at the temperature in the leopard's habitat. It's orange, and I'm as guessing it see, needs to be blue. We already have one cooler in there. Let's yep. pop some more down and get as much of the habitat as chilly as we can. 
Luckily for us, this habitat already has power, but you'll need to make sure of that in the future. <laughs> Just so you know, if any part of a habitat is powered, then the whole habitat will be powered. Won't even let me move that one and duplicate it. And no, I'm not trying to pronounce that name. <laughs> Sorry, Charlie, no. <laughs> There's no chance. That That is out of my, my uh, pronunciation. skills there are way too many letters there you can find heat maps for all sorts of helpful things so do be sure to explore them and make good use uh -huh. of them i might have covered everything It'll enough take a little while for the temperature to adjust once you've added coolers or heaters but now we've got the coolers in we can address the leopards terrain welfare you see what the leopards really want yeah that should be fine snow and rock so let's make the so first thing happen. i said yeah, I know. I knew as soon as I seen that it was only a little bit of snow, I was like, that's why they're miserable. Oh, you found your cooler? Here we go. Hang on. Am I supposed to go into this? And then paint? I don't know. I'm just automatically doing things. There's some snow down. Yeah, no. <laughs> well then, all of that should give you a pretty good understanding of how to make animals happy. So yep. I'd like you to go and check on all the other animals in the zoo and fix up any issues with their habitats. No problem. That'll increase the average welfare of the animals across the whole zoo. Okay. And that average welfare is a very important statistic. Now, to quickly see how all your animals are doing in the zoo, you should go into zoo management and then into the animals section. She's beautiful, though. Look at her all happy in the snow. Such a pretty kitty. As you okay. Can see, this oh, list yeah. shows you the animal's <laughs> overall welfare. So, if something's amiss, then you can quickly pop over to them using the locate button. Oh. Right. I'm off for a cup by while you make sure all the animals are well looked after. She loves her tea. Um. Well, you're not doing very well. Are you the worst? No, the West African lions are the worst. Why are you so miserable? What's happening with the cats? Zero space. Are you stuck? Is that what's wrong? What's going on here? Are you stuck? Let me just move you over. Go on to the... Well, now you got stuck. Well done. Right, so that one's a bit happier now. Um, zoo management. Let's go for welfare on the lowest. Yeah, it's the giant tortoise. Oh, the lynx. Yeah, the Eurasian lynx. All right, I know. I have found them all. Will you stop telling me? I found them. The tortoise are miserable. What am I actually meaning to do? Oh, okay, so that was the last task. No way. It's barely been an hour. I do love the Eurasian link, so. Okay, so you need enrichment. And you are a bit stressed. You're a tad stressed. Are they actually gonna let me do... Oh, okay. What do I have available? Can I have the... Be quiet, guests, things. Where is our security? Media devices? No, I don't have the be quiet, guests, things then. I don't think. Security signs, yes. Will you be quiet, please? That might help. The stress levels? No, no, they are pretty stressed. Okay. Oh, it worked, though. Oh, um, do we even have them? The Nyala. Don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Is that, is that a base game? I think so, right? <laughs> 
Hmm. Maybe we could add them in because the thing will expand. Um, but you're very stressed, right? Can I just do one way glass by you? Uh, there we go. That should be better. And you also need enrichment. I totally got distracted then. How are you still stressed? I made the guests quiet. Going back up? Great. I'm not having protesters already. Um... Oh, we got a lot of things unlocked. Aldebar. Yeah. The horns are very cool. <laughs> That's why I just got it up on the Zoopedia so we could have a look. <laughs> right, enrichment. You need both. It's always good to do the selection for the animal species through the filters. They're in your top five. Um, yeah, I, am. <laughs> I always just want uh, all of the cats and things, but it depends on whether I want to do DLCs or I want base game. It's hard to pick with all of the different DLCs, but it's usually like the big cats I like going for. <laughs> you happy? Yeah, I shouldn't put too much in, actually, because they might get bored of them. I think I'll be all right for this one. Habitat, what else? Hard shelter. The tortoise need a lot of hard shelter, if I remember. Uh, let's go for, like, a bigger one. Oh, they are not cute looking. Um, let's go for a bigger one. Pop that, like, here. And let me go in. I don't like the floor of hard shelters. Don't know why. But I think that looks more aesthetically pleasing if I'm going to use a prefab. I think you always need like a big cat and something smaller that's going to reproduce quickly. Hee <laughs> hee. You're looking very cute but there. Love that. Okay, so they're happy. Did I, did I actually? Yeah. Terrain and plants. Ah, okay. We got a lot to do. Maybe this will be a little bit more fun than I thought. <laughs> oh, you... <laughs> Oh, that's so cute. Um, no problem if you need to, like, not answer straight away. That's fine. At least I don't need to, like, answer, ask constant questions anymore because I know what I'm talking about with this game, at least. <laughs> right. And, oh, you don't like the plants. No problem. Let's go into the plants. Take these bits off. And give you some plants that you actually like. Go for trees. Oh no, the kapoks are huge. I don't want anything that big. Strangler figs, too big. Tamarind? Ooh, I like them. Hmm. Why are they so big? That's pretty though. Oh, and a weeping willow. Love them. Maybe a smaller tamarind over here or a bigger one. Yeah, a bigger one. They happy now? That was it. That's all they needed. Do you want some like bushes by the rocks? Oh, I got a line to surface on. See, I always just do three. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I'm going to... um. Right. So they're all happy, I think. 
Yes, 100% wealthy. Okay, so we've got the, the tortoise really happy. Oh, big mixed habitats. That's always good. Yeah, I like a mixed habitat because it gives you extra enrichment for them as well. Um, I did that in, with the Africa pack so that I built more than any of the others. Hey, look at that. We're making a profit. <laughs> Wealthy. Oh, we've got a lot. Hey, speaking of zebras, you said you like the zebras and giraffes. We'll go to their next. <laughs> They're over on this habitat. Oh, wow. You said you like them? That's going to be my next ones. Look at them. Have you seen giraffes fighting? Videos of that. That, not like in game, but like in real life. Their necks are so powerful that they like hit each other with their necks. Fascinating. You wouldn't think like these big gentle creatures who eat leaves do fight, but they absolutely do. See, interspecies bonus. Always good to share. Um, hey look, it's the trees that I just put on. This is a big habitat. Wow. Oh, and look at like the viewing area. so interesting yeah like they hit each other with the necks yeah you're right <laughs> i've seen a video of it the other day and i was like hang on i always thought they were like quite gentle i love the way they drink too look at that so cute right you need enrichment and better to terrain uh i can do the terrain quicker too much style of course um what am I doing? <laughs> Short grass. Let's make it a bit bigger. And less intense. Just cover this area a little quicker. Still too much soil? Wow. This is a big habitat. Right. Yeah, they are, they are, it does kind of look a little bit, like, clumsy. But bless them, they have such big bodies. <laughs> and happy terrain, great. Um, what's next? Enrichment. Oh. Did you see that glitch there? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Oh dear. Uh, enrichment. Not for the tortoise. For the giraffe. Which I always forget is a reticulated... Right. Hang on. Ah. Oh. Reticulated. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> but... Scratching post, and I like to put water things near the water, so that should be good. Am I gonna need to like research more enrichment for them? No, they're happy. And food. When oh, this is cool. Should we put it by the elevated path? There are guests over here though. Maybe we'll put it over here. And they're happy. The plants are not so great though. Oh. Of course, just lots of things that they don't like. Let's take those off. Put those ones on. And now the habitat's basically empty. Great. <laughs> They're happy though, I guess. I'm not. Oh, that's not cute. Find. Hmm, that doesn't really go. That train is so loud. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> yeah, like animals evolve into... I, I'm guessing their necks evolved longer and longer so they could reach more plant life because they eat the leaves. Oh, I have a line to surface on. That's not great for trees. So if you press C, it straightens back up. I love the strangler figs. So pretty. 
Have nice tall trees for the tall giraffes. Was that the one I just picked? Yeah. Have a curly one too. Going over the habitat. <laughs> Why not? Um, we'll get another nice big one over here. That's cute. Hmm. The sausage trees are from the Africa pack, aren't they? I thought we wouldn't be able to like use DLC things in the older games. Maybe it's just like the animals are locked for it. Oh, these are tiny. These won't won't do. Olive trees are too small as well. Wow, these are some tall. Aha, better. Yes, we'll have a bigger tree. Put that one over here. Because apparently we're going to have completely different trees every time for all of the different corners. Hello. I'm not good at natural habitats. <laughs> They're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ooh, that caught me then. Ooh. Oh, I've made my eyes water. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a new DLC, even though there's only one left. Are you happy? <laughs> yes. The one time I don't bring a drink upstairs. <laughs> <coughs> oh, crying. <laughs> when I show them the packs, you, I make you buy them. That's just cheeky. <laughs> so the zebras need some enrichment now as well. What am I doing? Plain zebra. Could you bring me a drink, please, ma'am? Sorry. <laughs> you don't have to come in or anything. Just put it outside and I'll grab it. Plain zebra. There we go. And they need food. I'll actually remember what I'm doing in between. <laughs> Choking. Thanks, ma'am. Right. <laughs> I think the zebras and that are happy now. What are we missing? Right, they don't quite like the plants, but that's fine. We got 99% welfare. <laughs> you still die. <laughs> I wish there was a search bar for the filters, yes. <laughs> oh, just get a really dry wrote talking constantly and I've only been talking for like an hour but I just get really dry constantly talking and it's kind of warm today so that's different as well <laughs> thank you though I guess <laughs> um what else needed right so we'll do the elephants next just bear with let's just have a quick drink do I have something to cover <laughs> I will be back Oops. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Oh, behind the scenes then. <laughs> right. I can speak now. Oh, dear me. Hand reveal. <laughs> 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 
That is the most anyone's ever seen of ma'am. <laughs> the mysteries. Oh dear. <laughs> Sand reveal. Right. The elephants need some work. That is the last one for the overall welfare, I think. And the hippos. I have managed to keep the hippos alive. If you saw James Turner's playthrough of this when the game first came out, the hippos always remind me of that because James Turner played this in beta the same as I did. Obviously. A little bit better than I did back then but the hippos died in his playthrough so it always amuses me seeing the hippos now but yeah African savannah elephants need enrichment where are they oh wow oh there's a baby oh never mind that let's have a look at the baby look at the tiny thing oh you are adorable <laughs> oh, so cute! <laughs> oh, I love the elephants! I haven't seen them in so long! It's so nice to go back to like base game things and see all the old animals. This is so cute! Right, what do you want? Enrichment, of course. Oh my goodness. I still haven't quite <laughs> uh, recovered from almost dying. <laughs> right. Okay. What are we doing? Enrichment. What am I? Completely lost track of everything. Right. Species. It would be nice to just be able to search. I wonder if you can. No. You can just search. You don't have to go through the filters. You can just search for an elephant. And as you can see, yeah, you can just search. <laughs> You're fine. You can barely see anything, Mom. It's all right. <laughs> like Charlie said, hand reveal. I do like going through the filters. You can actually actually create your own as well i never have um but obviously the african savannah elephants are quite easy to deal with i do just want to like have a look around this zoo once we've completed it and just see what it used to look like i haven't changed any of the colors of these things or anything normally i do that to make it a little bit more individual oh i don't like where i placed that it changed the terrain no Right, where else am I putting one? Let's put it over here. And some toys. No way does a beaver pool actually work for the elephants. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and mud baths? I didn't know that worked either. Huh. I don't like it though. <laughs> what did I just put down? A tire. Okay. I have a big... Football as well. And ooh, maybe this will be nice by here. Like in this area. Please don't flatten terrain too much. Yeah, that looks cool. That'll work. And are they happy? <laughs> I think. I haven't got gold yet. 88%. We're getting there. What else did I need to improve for these? Terrain? Yeah. That's not bad. Whoa. The poop. The poop is so large with the elephants. Oh my goodness. That's usually like one... <laughs> oh, you could hear yourself. <laughs> you have been on a, a voice video before, ma'am. It's okay. You played GeoGuessr with me. Terrain. I've <laughs> lost, lost the plot now. Um, let's have some long grass by here. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, there's far too much soil. That's no problem. Let's give you some grass. 
The guests are very chatty. That's all I can hear is them talking in the background. <laughs> the elevated pass. Good play for the start of the game. This isn't too bad. But I know the zoos get way better for like some of the newer DLCs. Yeah, I always leave um, a poop part in when I do like the showcase videos and things for mom. Especially with like like the shorts version when I just show the in the animals individually. And right at the end with like the pretties, I'll leave a little bit of poop in just to amuse mom. <laughs> You'll have to see when I put the VOD up <laughs> whether you can hear Mam again. I'll put like a timestamp. Mam's hand reveal. <laughs> Just for a drink. Oh, really appreciated that though. Thank you so much. I was um, really getting a dry mouth there. Okay, coverage is too much. Well, that's easily fixed. I don't want to get rid of the big trees. That will completely make this whole habitat empty. The physics of the poop. Yeah, it like, um, it's not quite ragdoll physics, but it will always, it will always like, uh, fall. If it's on like a slant, but like, obviously these ones are just comfortable with there. Let's take that bit off. Oh, that was actually quite nice though. They really don't like a lot of these plants. I don't want the kapok trees gone. Oh, I'm gonna have to when I... Fine. Now the habitat's empty. <laughs> really, really empty. <laughs> right. Grassland and desert for Africa. No problems. Do you have like a nice bigger tree? Can I just see the trees? Foliage type. Trees. That might be easier for me. Yeah, they're kind of small. Sausage trees are okay. But the kapoks were so good because of how big they were. The can... Oh, we could do the boababs instead. Am I saying that right? I don't know. These are kind of cool though. This big chunky tree. Oh wow. I'll pop one over here too maybe. Yeah, looking good. Very, very sparse though. <laughs> Maybe a little... Hmm. Oh, that's cute. I'll have one of each by the archway. Yeah. Don't need trees anymore. We'll have some like foliage maybe? Some grass? Is that the large... Oh dear. Put it in little patches. Stop it looking so empty around you. Here we are. The viewers can... The viewers. The guests can see the, some of the grass then. So it's not so empty. Oh, I layered that one wrong. That'll be fine. I built from like miles away. I have to use my mom for a click big title. Would people click on that more than seeing me struggle doing hard mode? Possibly. <laughs> mom is a mystery. Well, you get to know her a lot more with the streams because you get to chat to her in the live streams. But normally it's just me. Hello, elephants. I got some grass down. I got the coverage up. You should be happy now. Yes. 100% happiness. Perfect. I can't say I'm too proud of the way this habitat looks. <laughs> Do we have wolves in the zoo? Oh no. Do we have wolves? 
Yes. I can hear you howling. We have Timberwolves. Hello. You're very loud. Yes. Very loud. Will you stop howling, please? Aww. I'm sure Mam will appreciate the compliment and thank you. <laughs> right, you're very loud. Why is your welfare low? You don't have enough toys. Okay, we'll give the puppy some toys. <laughs> this is fun. I'm pretty sure like I was incredibly lost when I was playing this last time. It probably would be funny to have a look at how bad I did it. <laughs> right, you want some more toys? Have a box. Every animal loves a box. My cat loves the box, my dog loves the box, and my rabbits love boxes. <laughs> All animals love cardboard boxes. And a tube toy? Do you have one? Could always look. Where's the enrichment? What have you got? You don't like the tube toy in the small ball anymore. Okay. That's why your enrichment isn't high. You've got bored of things. I don't know where the chew toy's gone now. Ah, there it is. Happy with the box, though? I'm gonna play. That's cute. I got a mini zoo. Uh, something three. Well, there's two rabbits and the cat and the dog. <clears throat> and none of them really mix all too well. <laughs> Yeah, I love having a chat. It makes the playing <clears throat> a lot more fun than doing it on my own. What else do you want? Do you want a, a scent marker? That might be nice. Or a sprinkler? I have a sprinkler by the water. And a scent marker. Right, you're happy now. Right? Will you stop howling? Like my Shih Tzu. <laughs> She loves a howl. They use like a squeaky toy. She sings with it. <laughs> right, we got... They have stopped howling. That's great. The warthogs are not as ha not that happy. Wait. Did the spider go? Did we lose it? No, it's still there. Uh, mm -mm. <laughs> nope. Right, Warthogs. What do you want? More enrichment? Absolutely. It's basically just putting enrichment in every single habitat. What are you doing, Bernie? Normally you... make your animals more happy than this. Oh, it was the... Ah, that's the story, isn't it? The last person like me didn't do a very good job and was allergic to the animals. That's why the animals are not being looked after. Makes sense. Right, toy happy. Food. Do you want a forage box? Yeah. And a little fruit thing. Warthogs are happy. Really don't like these water bowls though. Hmm. How are my staff? Are you overworked? Oh, I can't even hire anyone! <laughs> I... I do not like spiders, no. <laughs> Don't make me look at the Goliath bird eater, it's terrifying. <laughs> Where is it? Mm, no. It's like... Like, look how large it is in that box. I... Oh. Not my favourite. And I think the Goliath Bird Eaters are my least favourite in this game. Like, the Mexican Randney is kind of cute, because it's like a cute colour. But... Uh, oh, look at it. It's probably like... Oh. I can't even look away, because if I look that way, I can still see it. And it's like right near my head now. But, oh, look. Mm-mm. Oh, no, no, it's moving now. I'm out. <laughs> Ew. No, you're fine. You're fine. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> yeah, my mom's a spider catcher and my cat is. She loves catching spiders. It's kind of cute in a horrid way. I was going to say then, are you okay? <laughs> is there something wrong? Like you said, I was dying earlier. <laughs> are you okay? Oh, look at these disturbed guests looking at that monster. Absolutely not. Oh, it is not cute. Some of the others are okay, like the Mexican red knee. That one's okay, but that Goliath? Uh-uh. <laughs> I actually spent one Halloween just looking at all of them, just freaking myself out for fun. Um, but yeah, ooh. Mm -mm. Who have we got left? Hippos! They're still alive! <laughs> Your social group isn't great. You don't have enough. Oh, okay. Will you let me buy more? You will. Uh, one hippo, please. No. No, I can't buy them. That's awkward. <laughs> Oh. That's really awkward. What am I supposed to do about that then, if I can't buy any? Are you... Oh, oh no, we're good now. What is going on? Right. That one's better? Yeah. I'm really getting ahead of myself. Oh, the huntsman. Yeah, Australia's on a new le another level, I know. Just complete another level. One place I don't think I would go on holiday. Never mind, like, the travel time to get there. It looks like a beautiful place, but I do not get along with the animals they <laughs> although the oceania pack animals were really fun and some of them are from australia why am i just going completely past the hippo every time what are you after do you dislike things you don't like you don't like any of the toys that's fine i have new toys oh that's a food enrichment Okay. <laughs> Any more like ground space? We'll put one by here. I know I can take the some of the others out, right? So you don't like the sprinkler. Where'd you go? Hi, hippo. Are you happy with the enrichment now? Yes. You just were, wasn't happy with the sprinkler. That's like hard mode stuff going on with that. <laughs> Uh, you could probably do with, like, one more feeding thing. Maybe... Where's the viewing area for this one? Ah, over here. Look at them all stood on the stairs. The guests sometimes really confuse me in this game. And they'll probably be like, the view is terrible. It's fine. Space. Oh! Now... What do you expect me to do about that? <laughs> There's not enough space! Oh no! Okay, let's see. What can you actually... Your traversable area, what's blocking it? Right, I could delete some of these plants and maybe they could walk around a little bit better i don't know how i would expand the area though oh i could pull it over here maybe yeah that would work right let's pull this oh it's on a curve pretty pull this over nope Add a new one. Keep pulling. Uh, 
What's happening here? Okay. The hippos are a little bit more complicated. I was joking about someone else. <laughs> oh, right. It, I did make it slightly better. I can't expand the water though. Maybe I, I do get rid of some of the rocks. No, not the water. Oh dear. That is a rock, right? No, that's terrain. Huh. That looked like a rock. <laughs> it must just be the way it was terraforming. Hard mode's slightly irritating me already with like the in them getting bored of enrichment. But I'm pretty sure when we first started playing this, it was the same thing. Like the enrichment. They got bored of the enrichment and then I don't know how to fix that at all. Hmm. Um Yeah, like the difficulty changed. I'm pretty sure the difficulty changed halfway through me doing the career scenarios. Oh, that's why. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just making things look less than pretty. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I can change. Can I terraform? I can't terraform! Oh no! We'll use... We'll use these bushes. And, uh... Hide that little gap. There. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Did I give you enough space now? A little close to enough space? No. What do we do? Okay. Edit barrier. Let's add one from here. We'll just fill this entire section down here instead of me pulling it. I'll just redo it. <laughs> that should be fine. They... Oh, it's not the same colour now. What colour is this one? There. Let me just copy the colour. I can't have it being two different colours. That's unacceptable. There. Right. There we go. Did I... I didn't change that probably, did I? Yeah, no, that's the same colour. Great. That's better. I can't have it two different colours. Uh, and the curvy bits are kind of irritating too. There. Ah, oh, that's why it keeps getting blocked. Okay. That'll be fine, right? Did I give them enough space yet? Where did they even go? Oh, you're in the water. How's your space? Okay, so you have enough land space. I don't know how to fix the water though. Seeing as I can't terraform. So that's going to have to do. They do one more hard shelter though. Can I duplicate this one? Yeah. Or delete it. <laughs> duplicate! But where would it go? Maybe over here. We did it! All. I think it's fair to say that you've passed the first part of your training with flying 
fellas. There's still lots more to learn, but we'll have to head to another one of Bernie's zoos for that. If you want to grab your passport, we'll head off, shall we? Lovely. We did it! That is partially in the water. Sounds oh. like you've got the whole zoo purring away nicely. Well, purring, grunting, screaming, booming, <laughs> all the uh, appropriate noises. I guess I was right to hire you, huh? Yes. <laughs> Don't tell her I told you, but Nancy wasn't sure you'd even last the morning. <laughs> so we're Rude. happy this is working out. And Nancy owes me a foxy coffee. <laughs> <laughs> As strange as it seems, considering we just met, when I look at you, I feel like you're the child I never had. After the one I did have, obviously. Emma! But you see, zookeeping's not for my daughter. Don't get me wrong. Emma absolutely loves animals, but she set her sights somewhat higher. Mm-hmm. Wants to save the entire planet. I'll just settle for saving a couple of species. Oh, and maybe having a type of frog named after me. <laughs> Why a frog? I never understand that bit. Why a frog? I never understand Bernie half of the time anyway. It is nice that he wants to adopt me. <laughs> That's fine. Thanks, Bernie. Emma does become a zookeeper, though. She does end up uh, owning zoos and that. How happy are you now? I'm not happy leaving you if you're miserable. The space is not great because of that. Be you happy with the social? Yeah. And the plants. Terrible. Okay. Well, I wanted to get rid of these trees down here anyway. Let's just fix it up a little bit. There. That opens it up a little bit more. We'll ignore the gap for there because I can't terraform. Because it's locked. <laughs> okay. They are like relatively happier now. I didn't quite get them to 100%. But we got gold. I don't know. Uh, how long did that actually take me? Can I tell with my uptime? Ah, an hour and a half. That's not too bad. That usually is about the same amount of time it takes me to get bronze on the older scenario levels. Uh, should I see whether there's a Nyala and I'll put it in the shade habitat for you, Charlie? How about that? That's the elephants. Where's the giraffes? Um, we didn't actually see all of the animals either. There's the giraffes. Can I buy a Nyala to put in this habitat? No. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> I'm not allowed. I thought the market got expanded. Oh. There are none. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Do we have any other... Um... Why can't I think of the word? Are these... They are base game though, right? Oh! You don't like sharing with the, the giraffes and things. That's shocking. I thought they would have. An antelope. Do we have any other antelopes? Like a pronghorn? We do have a pronghorn. Oh, the first... Oh, no. Not the first Maya's one. We have a pronghorn antelope. I can't think of any of the other... Sable? No. There's not a lot to put in. That's a shame. And I don't have a lot of conservation credits either. So let's just have a look at the animals that we have. And have a look at the zoo. Because we didn't really look at the overall zoo. For this one. Yeah, when it's available, I'll put it in. Oh, that's a, such a shame. I would have put it in for you otherwise. The pronghorns are good, but unfortunately, I don't have enough conservation credits for them. Oh, I have enough now. Oh, it's just bad. 
Tell you what. We'll put it in. Will you share? With the bison. I don't think they'll fight. Oh no, that spider. Giraffe. I don't think they'll fight. We'll put one in and we'll have a look. Oh, we have two. Great. Both of you can go in then. We'll put it in the shared habitat. I'm sure they'll be fine. And while we're waiting for those to go in, so <laughs> Charlie can get an antelope. That train's so loud. Um, We'll just take a little tour of the zoo. Because it's just fun seeing the older ones. The balloons are so annoying. Pop. So this is the entrance. And this is the main building. I love this. This feels like proper classic zoo. It kind of reminds me of... um. Oh no. What was the name of that like zoo program from like years ago? That had Longleat. Longleat. Kind of reminds me of that. With like the big manor building i'm in a tree and a beautiful gate so this is the entrance i haven't noticed the time of day changing either oh facility i couldn't kill us right they're in let's have a look there we go charlie we'll add some antelope in for you so this is the female Might have a little bit of a, an encoding thing with how slow my PC's being. <laughs> so there's the female pronghorn. No, the females are not as exciting as the males are. The male should be in by now, though. There he is. Right? Yes. Because then you get to see the antlers. <laughs> antlers, horns so pretty the markings yes but the new from the last pack why can't i think of the last pack's name eurasia their antelope things were fun aren't you beautiful oh look at the little viewing area in the back as well that's cool having a little nap i think they'll be okay they don't get interspecies bonus but i don't think they'll fight in here either they're just one of the ones that are like okay living together but not boosted i don't think we'll have a social issue with them i'm not doing the plants so right let's go back we added a new animal in that we didn't need to but it's always fun to add something in that's been requested especially when um animal trading's opened so this is the train station. That's so cool. Love the glass. It's really hard building buildings around the transport rides. It's always one of the trickier things I find building in the game. My nemesis, which I think sickness must be lower for this one because surely these would have been sick like 8 million times by the time I've been playing. <laughs> And my nemesis animals. Yep, you're good. Fine. Oh, sounded like someone called me then. That was odd. You're hungry? I don't care. Oh. It's okay. The keeper's filling things. They'll be okay. <laughs> Just stop spreading diseases. And it, the habitat's not covered in poop either. They've definitely made this so easy. <laughs> So that's like right at the entrance. Who's in here? Are these the tortoise? Yeah, we've seen the tortoise. What haven't we seen? Beautiful fountain in the middle. Look at that. Huge. Grizzly bears. Aww. Cute. I think I made the bears happy, but I didn't do much about them. <laughs> Their habitat's cool, though. Oh, look at that. I find it so fun looking at, like, the old zoos. I just don't know where I am now. <laughs> I got lost. Right, there's the entrance. 
and war dogs what's in here oh ringtail lemurs it's always fun adding monkeys into the game or like monkey type animals and oh, they're all having a snack my light on yeah it's kind of dim in here <gasps> there are a lot of guests watching them Usually what I do at the end is having a look at all of the animals. I'm trying to do like the pretties, but live version. <laughs> a lot of a lot of guests watching the lemurs. Who else have we missed? Right, we've seen the elephants. Seen those. Hippos, bears. Yep, we've seen everyone. Oh, other than the snakes. Are we a fan of snakes? another one they have a problem with with the lemurs i think it's just the habitat animals that are in big groups tend to spread diseases really quickly are we are we a fan of snakes or are you like like i'm not bothered about the snakes as much as i am with the spiders and look at this one all killed up that's kind of cute <laughs> i guess I like the animations they have with the snakes and the different ways they sit. Like, that's kind of cool. Some of them, like, wrap around the trees. I kind of like that. But I won't stay on there too much, just in case. You've never handled a snake. I'm pretty sure... I was very young. But I'm pretty sure when I went to Florida, I touched a snake like a, a white one but i can't remember what it actually was and a titan beetle is there one in there not a fan of bugs slightly too many likes for me i'm okay with snakes there's no likes but anything with more than four legs kind of gives me the heebie-jeebies but there we go we got the titan beetle as well so i think we have seen all of the animals you even got me to see the Goliath bird eater, which is like my least favorite thing in the entire game. <laughs> but this zoo is really cool. It's cool to see like the older builds. Like they've made this like really interesting. For like the first thing they've they built for this. I love it. It is giving me like long leaped vibes. No, I've never been. I've just seen the TV program about it. Amazing. There are some bits that I was like slightly unsure with. Where is it? There was like a... Oh, I'm hungry now. You stroked a snake while someone else was holding it. I thought so. Um, yeah, like this terraforming with the elephants was questionable. I get what they were trying to do with this, but it also like looks like they've used the roughen tool, I think, like with these bits. It could definitely be smoother. Maybe, no, I'm seeing it, like maybe if the terrain was all rock it would look yeah maybe that works a little bit more it's the auto paint that was kind of janky yeah the rock makes it look a little bit better not sure about that bit though the buildings though very cool like that staff buildings is that for the train station <gasps> it is now that's cool. Like with the viewing area where they could see the elephants. Love that. Cool. All right. I think now we've had like the little tour around. <laughs> had a look at everything. Um, it's kind of a little earlier than I would normally finish off, but we've had a good go of this. What did you think of um planet zoo
like with a live stream instead of a stardew should we like fix it up and do stardew one week and plan it to another what do you think <laughs> i might finish off with this because this at least looks nice <laughs> You enjoyed it, Charlie? I know you were like more into Planet Zoo and everything because you hadn't played Stardew. Oh, you've been playing your franchise. Have you been playing Stardew as well? I know you said you got it last week. I've never done franchise, actually. They fixed the... <laughs> the CC issue and the... Uh... Not being able to buy animals in franchise now, right? I did see that. <laughs> I've never really like got into that. Should we go back to the main menu? Or should we stay on here? I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Let's give it a save. I haven't saved once. <laughs> Oops. I haven't saved once. <laughs> you just hit summer on Stardew. I should try franchise. I oh, see it does. Let's go to the main menu. Yeah, I can't believe I didn't save. <laughs> Mix it up weekly does sound good. Um, yeah, franchise kind of worries me because that that's where you have to buy animals from like other players, right? Not just from the bots i've never tried it that way i've done the challenge which is kind of like korea but kind of mixed into franchise and obviously all of the korea scenarios hard mode done um let's go back yeah i've done korea i've tried timed but i don't like them i've done one challenge you don't have to buy from other players. Oh, I thought it was, because there was a problem with the Christmas update where they couldn't, people couldn't buy animals in franchise, right? Which has barely just been fixed. <laughs> oh. I get it though, they concentrated a lot on console at the moment. Yeah, I've never tried franchise. Uh, I've tried challenge and I've done loads of sandbox. Is it like, is franchise like sandbox but without the infinite money? <laughs> I never really tried that one. I like the career, I love all of the voiceovers. It was so nice hearing Bernie and Nancy again. It was a little bit of audio difficulties but that's understandable from the start. Do, 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 do. All of the music always sticks in my head though. Do you do the challenges then when you're in franchise, Charlie? Because I've never done those either. Start oh, so it's like it's like the start of sandbox then, you get nothing. <gasps> that is interesting. Hmm. I don't know. I'm so comfortable in like the bits that I've been doing for like the past four years that I, I'm like, oh, I don't know about new scenarios, but then I play new games. So it's always worth a try. But yeah. I love the Planet Zoo music. I'm <laughs> just listening to the Planet Zoo music. It was really chill. I really enjoyed playing the Korea scenario though. I hope it was okay, because I'm used to playing this and like editing out certain bits. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. I haven't done the challenges. I haven't got any good animals. Oh, that's a shame. I have seen like people prepare certain franchise things for the challenges. Um, but I don't even know like how you do these. I've never tried them. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had fun doing Korea. Maybe next week. Oh, thank you. <laughs> as long as um, you don't mind watching. Maybe next week we'll go for Stardew and then the week after we'll do Planet Zoo and we'll mix it up that way. I've been thinking about getting PC Game Pass again as well and trying out more new games which might be fun live. But I am keeping my options open whether Planet Zoo releases another DLC soon 
all the last DLC um, for PC. Because uh, it's roughly around this time of the year that we got a DLC last year, but I don't know any details. I don't know anything, so I'm kind of waiting for another DLC as well. So we'll see what happens. But next week I'll play Stardew. And then if there's no new DLC announced or anything. Ooh. Steam database updated it. So there is a DLC soon. I usually just like fit to the certain times of the year that I know we'll get new packs. So I don't know about that, but ooh, oh, I'm excited. I always love a new DLC. Um, I'll probably live stream seeing that too. <laughs> but yeah, I really need to finish. I'm just like stopped and chatted. Um, but yeah, next week, Stardew, same time, five o'clock. And yeah, thank you so much for joining the stream. I had a good time playing Planet Zoo. I love Planet Zoo. And uh, hearing all of the characters' voices and everything. Um, but I'm going to leave it off there. Thank you so much for joining the stream. I'll see you next week. And if you want to see any of the shorts, <laughs> I'll be posting a short uh, at 8 tonight and on Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you ne again next week. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.